Good morning. What is up guys? Now, when was the last time I did a what I eat in a day video? I mean, this isn't gonna be a dedicated what I eat in a day video. And maybe it will be, I don't know. It's kind of like a fitness video, I guess. I don't know. I've been off my game lately. I got my period in the beginning of this week. It's been, it's been rough. Also, don't know what that is. It's like a rash because when I touch it, it feels like a burn, but it looks like a bruise. It looks like I got right hook. <laughs> that low key makes me miss kickboxing and martial arts. But yeah, I got my period not too long ago and it's been the absolute worst pain. I remember talking about it in my last video saying how I've been getting cramps and haven't bled yet. Literally a day after that video, I started bleeding. So my fitness game lately has not been A1. I mean, I say that every video, what's new? But I do want to really get back into doing it every, every day, but like also, YouTube has been consuming me and I have not been posting on TikTok and I'm stressing about that but that's just because my phone has no storage at all. So I've literally, I bought a new phone. It's coming in December, which is my birthday month. So it was a little gift to me. I think every year on my birthday, I get a new phone. <laughs> that's not true. I think I wait two every two years. Like I always get it during like December. I don't know why. It's not on purpose, but I have not been posting on TikTok. I've been like mainly on YouTube working and editing. I have my whole month planned with brand deals. It would be so much easier. My brand deals were on TikTok and if I had storage, but soon, promise, once I get my new phone, we're gonna have a lot of new content. But I wanted to mention today's sponsor, Future, which is this personal training app that I have on my phone. Let me show you real quick. Right there. So what this app is, it's a personal training app where you get to message your coach. Oh wait, let me explain the beginning of it. When you sign up for Future, you're gonna go through this like quiz and it's gonna be just asking you some personal questions about where you're wanting to go with your fitness journey or what your goals are. And then it's going to kind of like match up your goals with certain coaches that are gonna help you get to your goal. It's gonna ask like, are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to maintain your weight? Are you trying to gain muscle or build muscle? Are you trying to lift heavier? And you get to answer them personally. And once you find your coach, you guys really do build a relationship. You also get to choose like your limit as to how strict you want them, how laid back you want them. Me, since I have my own schedule and I am my own boss, I picked out a coach that wasn't too strict because personally, I already pushed myself enough and it is hard for me to have my own self-discipline. So I just needed that extra person to really put me in my place sometimes and to hold me accountable for my fitness. I do feel a tad bit pressured when I have somebody else to hold me accountable. These coaches are professional trainers. They have trained professional athletes, celebrities even. So they're legit. And there's so many ways to communicate with your coach. There's video prompts, there's text, there's calling, there's FaceTime. Speaking of FaceTime, before you get started with your coach, you have to schedule a FaceTime call to go over more specific things, to have like a literal one-on-one -on -one with your coach and like really get to know them and they really get to know you. So you're in the comfort of your own home. You can even do home workouts. You may say that you don't even want 
want to go to the gym. If you have social anxiety like moi and you don't feel like having to like see a coach in person or you just don't feel like getting up or leaving your house, you feel so much more comfortable when it's an app on your phone. Like I said, my personal fitness experience is really back and forth but at the same time I am focusing on my mental health while focusing on my fitness health and my coach really understands that. A lot of these coaches are really easy to talk to. They're super understanding and they're there for you. So whatever you're choosing to do with your fitness journey, they will be there for you and they will only work to your agenda. Discipline and motivation are two completely different things and sometimes we need somebody there to push us to our limits if it's not going to be us. Whatever routine that is comfortable for you, they're going to set up a routine for you weekly. I tell them my workout split on Mondays are usually leg days, Tuesdays are back days, Wednesdays are glute days, Thursdays are my cardio and abs. So while I tell them that over the phone, they set up my own routine for me and we literally make a customized routine for you and they even have, they have all the workouts that you can look one on one with, they have demonstrations, you can tell them what weight you're putting in, how many reps you do. So it's a very personalized training app, which is very beneficial for your health. While your coach is giving you these personal workout routines, if you have questions on your form, you can send them video prompts and text them and ask them all sorts of questions. Having self-discipline is very difficult to commit to, so it's not shameful to just have a little bit of help, especially with professional trainers. And you never know, after a couple months, you might not need them anymore and you'll feel proud doing it all on your own. And you're gonna be self-taught. Well, not really self-taught, more like taught by the trainers, but then now you're gonna be self-knowledge. So if you're watching this and if you think the Future app is gonna be beneficial to your fitness life, I will have a link down below in the description box that will get you started on your first month of Future for only $19. Thank you, Future, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get to the gym because I am procrastinating and this pre-workout is hitting my feet really bad. My feet are getting itchy. A part of this, what I eat in a day, one, I got my tripod. My man's is sick, so I made him a tea this morning. He's not sick, his throat is just really itchy allergy season i don't eat a full meal before i go to the gym because personally me when i eat too much i just automatically want to sleep even if i have caffeine in my body i still feel like throwing up at the gym and i don't go my fullest because i just i feel it in my stomach i feel bloated and i just don't even want to be at the gym you really shouldn't go to the gym without eating anything you have to eat mamas a banana for the sugar and a kind bar with peanut butter and dark chocolate for a little bit more sugar it's a much more healthier version than i see people eating rice krispies or having like the sugar candies i feel like this is a much more gut friendly option for my pre-workout Let's get to it again. Look at this. It just added this in and I'm happy about it. Whoa. Oh. oh, this is nice. Uh, 
looks like a heated bed. Oh my goodness. Like a heated bed. There it is. It tastes like a reward. That was some hardcore shit. Actually broke a sweat. And I did hip thrust. I did really well on hip thrust because I like put like at least three forty fives on each side. Now I lost it because we didn't have a barbell in the gym. Now that we have it, I forgot like, oh shit, I can do um, hip thrust now and glute bridges. I haven't had a glute pump in a while. It's been a while since I had a glute pump and right now my glutes look and feel juicy. I was so insecure like a couple days ago. Like my glutes feel so flat. I feel so weak. Now it's just, it feels great. I feel the pump in my glutes. Oh, all right, we're gonna chill here for a little bit. We're gonna go home, take a shower, feed the cats and then have breakfast of today's video. Here's what the cats eat. And this is also what they eat. We mix in this chicken recipe dry freeze food. So it's like, it's not kibble, soft food, frozen. We add a little bit of kibble to their meal. Again, Moon gets his slow feeder. Mans don't know how to act. This is Doja's. Deja vu or Wakanda. Right here. Okay, I am showered. I have my, my t-shirt wrapped around my hair. You guys already know the drill. It's either this or it's my silk cap. But I like to use t-shirts when it's wet so I don't wet the silkness of the cap. Somebody got neutered recently and he doesn't know how to act. He's like off the rails. He's jittery, he's extra excited, super playful, constantly making muffins. Look at him, he's like, he's just acting different today. So to help with anti-inflammatory, I take a ginger shot every day. Um, I'm trying to take it every day. Let me correct myself. I try to take it every day. Really beneficial for your gut. It does help me with bloating, especially after I eat a big meal right after the gym. I have water right next to me because I do need a chaser. Just like shots, any other person that's taking a shot, you need a chaser. These are homemade by moi. I do ginger, lemon, honey, oranges. Sometimes I add in lemon or lime, apple. But add like a shitload of ginger because you want to get it like all in one shot and it is going to be spicy, okay? Bottoms up. Ah! One more. It's super sweet, it tastes so good. It's just spice, it's ginger. <sighs> that gives me a rush though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so my boyfriend is making our first breakfast. I'm making our side breakfast. We're gonna make something fancy today. I'm gonna make some blueberry baked oatmeal, banana for the sweetness. Uh, oh. I ran out of protein powder so long ago. So for extra protein, I just add a lot of oats. I'm not measuring any of this, so please don't ask for the recipe. Pinch of baking soda, nice. They say applesauce, but this is some mushed up apples that I used when I made apple cider. I've had it in the freezer and it's still fresh. Nice, good scoop of that. This is also for sweetness. It has some cinnamon sticks and some ginger in it. Then some milk, you can have any milk of your choice. Protein milk, almond milk, oat milk, some vanilla extract. Just a little bit of cinnamon. More oats. And we're gonna blend this baby. Okay. You don't wanna blend it for too long. You kinda want it to be a little chunky. I got these cute little baking bowls from Home Goods. I thought they were mugs and I was so excited, but then when I got them, I was like, oh damn, they're just bowls, but still pretty cute. And you put your baked oats in. Or are they? Could be frozen blueberries or regular blueberries. I personally like to use frozen blueberries. You wanna add this before you bake it. And just mix them in there. I'm just gonna put them in the oven, or in this case, I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. 350 or 375, I honestly don't know. At least 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna bake. Uh, let me try only 14 minutes. So over here, my man was just cooking some turkey sausages from Costco with scrambled eggs. I'm just gonna put this on top of toast. Some pepper, salt. Gordon Ramsay says to put salt after the eggs are cooked, but he can suck my dick. I like it when it's inside. And we're gonna toast some bread. Adding only a little bit of mozzarella cheese.
pure Irish butter. Jalula. And here's the sausage, scrambled egg, toast. I think the oats are almost done. The top looks done, but if you poke it in the inside, it's still pretty moist. So it's still gotta be in there in a couple of minutes. Look at this. This looks too damn nice. I'm gonna add some cilantro on mine. It's gonna be an ugly looking bite. <laughs> mm, my god, that is busting. I don't know how it's busting when you drowned it with cilantro. Because <laughs> it's drowned in cilantro, boy. <laughs> what do you think? Comment below if you hate or if you like cilantro. Because me and my boyfriend have like a big butting heads with this. Because I love cilantro with all my heart. And I hate tomatoes. He loves tomatoes, but, but you hate cilantro? I'll eat a tomato straight up. You're disgusting. Like, I'll eat cilantro straight up from. The, the, leaves. the leaves. I don't she know. I think that's what makes us work a lot. Could I get mine? <laughs> no. I need some girth. <laughs> no, that's really good. These are, they're not really that burnt. They're just a little overcooked only on the top. Oh, they smell so good. Oh, it's just, just a tad bit cooked for me. Try this. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Ayo, what? I just realized I look blue. That's much better. Tastes like a reward. All right, that is breakfast. I'm gonna eat the rest of my eggs along with a lot more water. Never stop hydrating, beautifuls. And now the best part about making breakfast is the cleaning process. I never like to leave dishes in the sink ever. I used to do that when I lived with my parents. That was because like the house was always felt dirty, so I felt like there was no point in cleaning the house. Now that it's all my stuff, which kind of sounds a little selfish, but now that it's my stuff and I keep everything clean and it doesn't feel dirty at all, then I feel more comfortable keeping everything clean. Plus I have cats, so I'm not allowed by them, specifically by them, I'm not allowed to have any food or dish in the sink because because they will go in the sink. No matter how many times I tell them no, wash your dishes, y'all, even if you don't have pets. Wash them right after. room I prefer to do my work and journaling and like literally everything in my living room just because like the office room is not really that decorated and it doesn't have any windows so it doesn't really feel homey or comfy to be in so I do most of my work in here I journal in my inside and out journal which I love so much this is like one of my favorite journals that I ever do because it has like a really long writing line and it asks me different questions every time what's today we are on November We're like the 17th right yeah oh yeah by the way today well, I mean, this video is coming out later, but today Gymshark's Black Friday sale is now live. Hopefully by the time that I post this video, it'll still be live. So make sure to go check that out. Right now, I'm going to journal while I eat my oats. And after I journal, I'm going to start working. I have a lot of work to do today. I'm a little late on work. I have to call my manager and my assistant real quick to go over a brand deal. And once I'm done journaling, I'm going to make myself a coffee. I have a lot of water bottles that I have filled up with water like literally all over the house. But I feel like having like a glass filled with water makes me feel a little bit more fancy. Who's excited for the holidays? Because as you can see, it feels like Christmas threw up all over my place. This is the best holiday decor that I've ever done. And this is the first Christmas happening in a new luxury apartment. I'm really thankful that I am here again. I said this in my moving vlogs. I honestly would not be here if it was for or any of you guys watching. I don't know why you're still here because people get sick of me real easily. <laughs> I do. I do appreciate you guys being here and I love every single one of you. I read all of your guys' comments. Sorry if I don't respond. I just get a little anxious like responding to people because like when I talk to people in person, I'm anxious and kind of feels the same like online even though it feels a little bit easier because of social media. I have a big 
love-hate relationship with social media. I've been doing it for years. I've been doing it since my sophomore year of high school. Since I was a sophomore and freshman in high school, I had people in my DM saying the exact same things that people are saying to me today. It's so weird how like the family grew. Like you guys have no idea how much y'all have grown. Like what? Three platforms with three different groups of my family. I have my Instagram fam, I have my TikTok fam, and then I have my YouTube fam. My YouTube fam knows a lot more about the real me. My Instagram fam knows a little bit about me. My TikTok fam kind of barely knows me because I really don't talk on TikTok. But if you're like all three of them, hi, how you doing? You know all of me. Again, I'm so thankful that I'm even here. This is the first Christmas in the new apartment. Like the apartment that I had last year when I did Vlogmas, y'all remember that? Cause I do. My therapist does too. <laughs> no, last year's Vlogmas drained me. I posted and edited every single day of December and I don't know how I did it. Like I barely enjoyed December, but at the same time I kind of did. And I liked how progressive I was, was with the videos, but it still took a lot out of me. I do not know if I'm gonna do that again. I honestly don't. If I do, I would have to hire an editor. I kind of really like doing my own edits though. We're gonna find out. I doubt it though, but we'll see. I will have a lot of videos for December. Cause it's my birthday month. I'm turning 21. Add a girl me for living this long. Honestly, to be honest, I did not think I was gonna make it past 15. <laughs> I know I'm laughing. That's not a, it's not a joke, but that's the only way I can cope. Looking at my trauma like it was a joke. I literally would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. The shit that I had to go through like while I was in this social media journey is crazy. It's crazy. I haven't like talked to you guys personally about it or like gotten gotten into specific details about it because like I don't I'm not I'm not I'm honestly not ready to talk about it yet. I am very self-aware and I accept a lot of things that happened to me and what I've had to go through and shit like that. Some things I'd say like I did go through a lot of eating disorders, especially in high school. By the way, eating disorder trigger warning. I did go through some bulimic stages in my life. I was told a lot that I was either too skinny or that I need to eat a burger or I'm a bag of bones or I have stick legs or something. I mean, looking listening to it now is kind of funny because when I look at my old self i'm like yeah girl you did have some stick legs but at the same time I, like back then I, I took that those jokes like so much worse i was a sensitive kid so nobody really thought that my emotions were that sensitive so they would just say these things and say like have you eaten today it looks like you haven't eaten add some fries eat more while i'm like literally down i had an athlete's appetite my schedule back in school used to be school and then right after school either basketball soccer or softball and then right after that i go to martial arts whether at night whether i didn't have practice I go to martial arts right after and my sophomore year I had theater and I had to dance so like for years since I was two to Two, two. Since I was two years old till my sophomore year of high school, I had no breaks at all with fitness, with sports, with activities. Came home hungry, always hungry. And then I had chores and then I had to come home and just go to bed with my body beat up. Like martial arts was no joke. Like I had muscle pains, back pain. Like my body as a 12 and 10 year old was an old lady. I went to a chiropractor and these doctors are like, girl, you good? I was crackling like pop rocks, all right? Even during that, even though I had a lot of muscle as a skinny girl back then, I still felt like I, I didn't know like what body I wanted. I just knew I wanted to stop hearing these insults or these opinions about my body. So I just did whatever. I just kept eating and no matter how much I ate, I never gained. It was like back and forth. I loved how my body looked. I was okay with being skinny, but at the same time, like everyone around me was just like, ha they had something to say about it always. So there was moments where when I ate a lot, I just, gave it to the toilet. I feel so shameful saying this, but it is what my younger self did and I know I gotta talk about it. Eventually, I got myself out of that state by myself, nobody else's help. And then came moving out of Jersey, my sophomore year of high school, like the end of sophomore year, I was probably like 16 years old. Moved here and I had no sports. I did online school, so I didn't have no activities. I was home every day, no friends, no nothing. I was home in my room every day, did online school, closed my laptop and just did nothing. And it was a really depressive state of my life. I had no friends, but I wanted to move out. I did want to move out of my hometown. I knew it was best for me, but it was still pretty depressing as a teenager, like not really getting to experience my high school life. And I was just eating. And I had a Puerto Rican mom and Ecuadorian dad. So we had meats on top of beans, on top of rice every day. <laughs> Once I stopped doing sports, I realized like my weight gain. I started to see it while I was filming. This is why while I was filming my first fall videos, my, my first Christmas videos, if you go back at my old vlogs, I would look back at myself, like be very, very self-conscious. There was this video 
video where I went to the Devil's Den and I remember that exact video when I was editing it I was looking at my body and watching it over and over and crying like being like dude I gotta I gotta I gotta stop living like this I gotta stop feeling like this and looking like this and that's when I started going to my community gym and then you'll see my videos kind of shift to me being a little more fitness because I've never been to the gym I've only ever did sports so I didn't I had no experience nor knowledge about gym anything so your girl started running every day thinking that cardio was what's gonna to get her to lose weight and it was so crazy to me how the beginning of my life i was trying to get thicker while the middle of my life i was trying to get skinnier so it just it really did open my eyes how i really shouldn't be worried about my body at that age but i was still going i did the gym i just let i was also like really ashamed that i was out of shape because i was always in shape my entire childhood i couldn't even wait a year it took like i gained weight so quickly i just said okay we're gonna be going to the gym every day we're gonna learn by yourself we finna do this then fast forward i was in and out of the gym like it wasn't like a really big commitment i'd be there for one month and a couple weeks i'd be off on and off and that, that's literally me now fast forward to actually signing up for a gym membership and learning going on social media following a lot of influencers and like teaching myself paid for a personal trainer for me and my boyfriend and we love him his name was joe joe i doubt you're watching this but we still remember you and we fuck with you heavy he was the best he was so cool and fun to talk to he was really he really did help us out and taught us a lot and then that's when i started future which i mentioned in the beginning of this video and that's when I started Future. It's a personal trainer app. Before I started Future, I already knew a lot of things about the gym and I was already self-taught and I just needed that extra help. I'm not gonna get up on here and say that I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm only filming myself, showing you guys that I'm still learning. Half of the shit that I probably am showing you, I might be wrong. I probably don't look like I know what I'm doing, but it's okay. We're young, we're growing. Not everybody's gonna have it together. And eventually I didn't have the bulimic stages anymore, but then it came to binge eating. Like it came to me eating when I was stressed. I ate when I was happy. I ate when I was tired. I ate when I was bored. I ate when I was sad. I ate when I was angry. I didn't realize it till later that I'm like, yo, I'm like binge eating. Like really, really fucking bad. And whatever, whenever. I wasn't hungry, but I just went into the cabinets and my pantry and the fridge thinking like, what is there to eat? So in order to cope with that, I tried gum. But then I know that gum is also bad for you. Like it was just a, it was a, it was just a lot. Moral of the story, I'm talking too much. But moral of the story is that I realized that in order to fall in love with your body, you have to enjoy and love food. I realized that I shouldn't limit myself and starve myself, limit my options on food. I found out that I can eat the same like takeout food that I like to eat maybe once or twice a month and if I was craving something that I would usually order takeout with or that is usually unhealthy, I can just make it myself just in a healthy way. Like let's say I wanted some Chinese food. If I ordered Chinese food and I ate that shit and I woke up the next day, I'd feel crappy. If I wanted pizza or chocolate, if I ate it, I'd have acne the next day and I didn't want to deal with that. I didn't want to deal with that bloating, any of that crap. So what I would do is that I would make zucchini stir fry when I was craving Chinese, ate that, and I felt great the next day. Vegan cauliflower air fried pizza, feel great the next day, no acne. What I did is that I fell in love with food in the right, most healthy way, in the non-toxic way. You don't have to limit yourself, like you don't have to starve yourself, especially if you're in fitness. Food is fuel, water is fuel, and you need it. That was just a little segment of me talking about my relationship with food. I don't know, I just wanted to share that with you guys because it is something that I never talk about and I never get up on here and get specific or talking for more than two minutes. Just remember that, cheers. <laughs> I almost broke, my bad. Let's try that again. There we go. brown sugar peppermint shaken espresso with oat milk oh god you guys call it espresso or expresso For some reason i say expresso and i feel like i sound dumb which i think i do because i don't think that's the right way to say it i like espresso better than espresso I don't know. you shake it you know you gotta be a barista here Okay, let me stop. <laughs>
here she awesome. is. Ain't she a beauty? Oh, look at the cat. Two of them are up there and one's in her little bed. Look at this beauty though. Oh, Gotta use the coasters, people. I'm like getting all her angles. Hang on now. My favorite types of coffee are the ones that are layered. Just, I don't know, it just looks nice to me. Pour it over espresso on top of brown sugar and peppermint extract. Then I added some of the Tazo pumpkin spice tea with some oat milk on top. It looks beautiful. Let's try this, bitch. Goddess is have mercy. That peppermint adds so much. Oh my god! Please try this. This this lo it low key tastes like something Starbucks would make. I'm not even exaggerating. All right, I gotta get some work done. Call my assistant, and I gotta plan this weekend. So I'll take this time to. Help me find a way to stop hiding from myself. No way. Okay, it's a little time later. We're making a snack because I was working literally all day. And before I make a little bit of lunch, I'm gonna make a quick little snack. And my favorite snack to make, the fact that I'm on my tippy toes while I'm talking to you guys. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this, but like every time I'm filming, whether I'm on the counter or something, 90% of the time I'm on my tippy toes. I'm on my tippy toes like right now. But we're making some tuna with crackers. And I don't buy mayo, because usually we like to put mayo in the tuna, but I don't buy like containers of mayo. We make our own mayo. So let me show you. I got the hack off TikTok, so. From what I remember, you use Greek yogurt. We don't have any Dijon mustard, Dijon mustard, spicy mustard, I don't fucking know. We don't have any mustard, but you would add mustard, one egg, you add in a shitload of oil. I think that's it. You don't want too much. That's kind of the reason why I don't buy containers of mayo. And then you add some salt. I'm gonna add a whole lemon, the juice of a lemon, and some pepper. I'm sure there's more. If you just look up on TikTok, like recipes for homemade mayo, you'll find so many. And they're usually the same. It's usually the egg, the oil, Greek yogurt, and mustard, and lemon juice. And that's basically it, and then we're gonna blend it. Yeah. Now that is some homemade mayo. <laughs> It's a little different since we didn't put mustard. Look at this presentation I did. Put the crackers on the side. We acted like we fancy today. I kind of look fancy. What is my outfit giving? My outfit kind of looks... I did not plan this outfit at all and it's like giving something. I don't know. It's, gi it's giving um, like fashion show. Yeah, boho, really? I think this is kind of boho, yeah. My hair is dry at this point, so I'm gonna take it off after I have my snack. So I added the mayo, the homemade mayo, which is a lot more healthier. And tuna is a really huge source of protein. This is perfect when you're just really hungry and you don't know what to make. And it's really quick to make. And I, I do suggest making your own mayo because a lot of mayos in stores have like a lot of chemicals and fattening things that just are not meant to be mayo. I think mayo is like only like four or five ingredients. Mmm, mmm. We forgot to add onion and shallot. We literally add whatever. I added, I was about to say cucumber. I added celery. I mean, yeah, I'm telling you, this is like my go-to snack. You can add this as a sandwich. I know a lot of people shit on tuna. They be like making fun of it. I remember, yo, I remember having tuna sandwiches back in high school. Do you remember they used to have that tuna that they would just like scoop and put it on the bread? You didn't like it? I did not love it. What is that it, face? It He's doing the face like. Because it wasn't the same as this type of tuna. Mm. How did it taste to you? It didn't taste like that. <laughs> it tasted like something they just scraped from the bottom. Of the floor and just scoop it. I don't know about y'all, but the tuna in high school, like I thought it's made me that's the thing. I was so self-conscious of how I looked like or smelled like in front of people, but like I really did not care that I ate that tuna sandwich. Nobody said nothing, but I knew people had a problem with how I smelled. They thought it's it was my natural scent. And like, nah, it's just the cafeteria tuna. But I would I loved tuna. My my parents would make me tuna sandwiches, tuna dips, and I love it. I'm glad I don't hate it because it is a real it, like I said, it is a good source of protein. We get our tuna from Costco. Oh, 
It's Kirkland solid white tuna, wild caught. 42 grams of protein per can. This is two cans in here. 42 grams of protein each can. Look how small these cans are. That is 42 grams of protein. That's crazy. And more water. I remember when I was a kid, always seeing my friends and family like have soda or juice with their meals and I was always given water. I was never allowed to have any juice in my house. And whenever I did have like soda or juice, I started to notice when I got older. I started to notice how I would chug while I'm like eating things that are dry or just food in general, I got thirsty. We always think that chugging our sodas or chugging our juice is hydrating us from that thirst when really it's just putting, adding more sugar and making us even more thirsty. You don't realize it, but water is 10 times more important to have with your meals than anything else. I'm going to finish the rest of my snack and I head back to work. I'm gonna probably change out of these clothes. This is like my lounge clothes. The day's still early. After that, we're probably gonna go grocery shopping and then right after, I'm gonna make some dinner and end off the night. can easily make your own. If you're in a rush or it's just for lunch and you want something quick and easy, this is a go-to. It tastes delicious. I can add my tomatoes. Hijo de chuta madre, I almost burnt myself. Some cilantro, onions, pre-chopped, just for more flavor and for more veggies, parsley. You see what I mean when I was talking about being on my tippy toes? You could add heavy cream to make the sauce just thicker and creamier. A more healthier version is you can blend the cottage cheese with some Greek yogurt and a bunch of salt and seasoning. I might use some Greek yogurt to make this a little thicker. It's already smelling, oh shit. The pesto wasn't hitting. I think it might have been an old container, so I'm just adding some Cajun seasoning because you can never go wrong. Filming this for good luck. Ah! By the way, this has been like going on and off all day. The time has been wrong. I don't know what is up, but the beanie is really working for me right now. Probably gonna be super salty with all the seasoning. I should have just made a Cajun. It's not hitting, hitting, but it's hitting if you know what I mean. Nazo got a lot of people with him, but he got a lot of people with him. I'm gonna go drink some more water. Varsity jacket, I just tucked it in a little bit. I got cat hair all over it, but I honestly really never care. I'm just pairing it with the purse that I wear all the time. This is my grocery store outfit. So I cut up some steak. I'm not gonna show like literally everything that I'm doing. Follow this man. He does a lot of healthy recipes. Beef and broccoli. And I'm doing his Panda Express beef and broccoli recipe. 15 million views, so. I did not, I don't wanna steal her idea. This is a basically inspired chicken stock. He said beef stock, but I don't have that. my rice with some chopped scallions. Here's the beef and broccoli. It looks super unhealthy, but I swear it's just a lot of water. Homemade Panda Express and some everything but the bagel. So I wanna make him a little happy. And we're also having a little hot chocolate night. And I picked this up at the grocery store. Look how cute this is. I put it next to the Nespresso cause I feel like when I make coffee, instead of adding sugar, I'm gonna add this on top instead for my sweetness. I'm not gonna add sugar to my coffee no more. Since it's, you know, the holidays, this counts. Sugar, but I'm gonna add sugar. Yes, thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty smart though. Yeah, cause it's like, you don't have to add sugar, you add sugar. Here's Date it. night. Imitation. <laughs> Imitation takeout. We're gonna watch Spirit. It's an Apple TV movie. All right, this is gonna be the last meal of the night other than the chocolate covered apple ice creams that we made. I was never allowed to have hot chocolate just like this when I was a kid. Never allowed to have this much marshmallows. As I was telling you guys, you guys can be free when you eat. You don't have to have limits 24-7. Depends on your goal. But me, I like to enjoy foods, even sugary foods sometimes, especially for the holidays. I don't like to limit myself for the holidays. I like to just keep it very minimal. You're a minimalist. I am. My decor in my food. I think... Mm. I was scared that it wasn't gonna come out good with all that. Like it was super chunky, but nah, this is so good. I will try to remember to leave all the recipes down in the description, but bro, y'all need to try this recipe, it's no joke. All right guys, we're gonna end up the night watching Spirited. And then I'm just gonna show you me like taking a bite out of the chocolate covered apples. We're gonna watch the movie and chill with our hot chocolate and Panda Express. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I inspired you throughout this entire video. Maybe inspired you guys to do some of the meals that I'll be doing. Again, I hope you guys are fueling yourself and eating every day. I don't wanna see any of you guys skipping any meals 
meals even though I do it sometimes by accident feel free when you eat guys just be happy and love food and have a good relationship with it and you will honestly not regret it when you're older I love you guys so 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 much and I'll see you in the next vlog Mwah.